In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Come, Holy Spirit, inflame the hearts of all people with the fire of your love. Send forth your Spirit, and all will be reborn, and you will renew the face of the earth. Holy Spirit, open our eyes and calm our minds. Fill our memories of the Father's love, of the Son's unceasing prayer, of the world and of your own presence within us. Holy Spirit, give us faith. Holy Spirit, reveal to us the truth of the Father's unfailing promise, purpose, and plan, of the Son's victory and risen presence, the truth about ourselves, sinful yet children beloved of God. Holy Spirit, give us hope. Holy Spirit, give us peace, peace with God and peace with all people. Kindle my desire for you. Strengthen our wills to live and serve. Teach us and lead us where you will. Holy Spirit, give us love. On this sixth day of our novena, in preparation for Pentecost, today we will focus on human weakness and sinfulness. A reading from letter of St. Paul to the Romans. I do not understand my own behavior. I do not act as I mean to, but I do things that I hate. While I am acting as I do not want to, it is not myself acting, but the sin which lives in me, in my natural self, that is, for though the will to do what is good is in me, the power to do it is not. The good thing I want to do, I never do. The evil thing which I do not want, that is what I do. But every time I do what I do not want to, then it is not myself acting, but the sin that lives in me. The Spirit too comes to help us in our weakness, for when we do not know how to pray properly, then the Spirit personally makes our petitions for us in groans, that cannot be put into words. And he who can see into all hearts knows what the Spirit means, because the prayers that the Spirit makes for God's holy people are always in accordance with the mind of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, my heart has no lofty ambitions. My eyes do not look high. I am not concerned with great affairs or marvels beyond my scope. Enough for me to keep my soul tranquil and quiet, like a child in its mother's arms, as content as a child that has been weaned. Israel, rely on the Lord now and for always. A second reading is from a homily given by St. Cyril of Jerusalem. He says, The Spirit comes gently and makes himself known by his fragrance. He is not felt as a burden, for he is light very light, rays of light, and knowledge stream before him as he approaches. The Spirit comes with the tenderness of a true friend and protector to save, to heal, to touch, to counsel, to strengthen, to console. The Spirit comes to enlighten the mind first to the one who receives him, and then, through him, the minds of others as well. As light strikes the eyes of a person, who comes out of darkness into the sunshine and enables that person to see clearly things he could not discern before, so light floods the soul of the person counted worthy or receiving the Holy Spirit and enables that person to see things beyond the range of human vision, things hitherto undreamed of. So in the readings today from Romans and also from St. Cyril of Jerusalem, we see the impact of how the Holy Spirit can have in our lives, especially when it comes to our own sinfulness, to recognize that when we try to do things on our own, we're going to always end up doing something bad. We are going to choose something that's going to be easier for us to kind of get us out of trouble and not really seeking the truth, seeking what is good. And that's why the Holy Spirit is that light to illumine us. That's why we pray for the gifts of the Holy Spirit so we could have that knowledge, we could have that counsel, we could have those things to help us point us in the right direction. But we have to recognize that we are sinners. We have to recognize that we are living in darkness or we choose darkness over light. Because every time we sin, we're choosing darkness. Every time we sin, we're choosing the world, the devil, than rather Jesus, rather than God, rather the Holy Spirit. 
So that's why we need the Holy Spirit to help us to be on point, to always having that light within us so that we can then be a light for other people. And not saying that we're better than other people, but to show that the darkness that we have, the inclination to do bad things is there. But as long as we have the light of Jesus, we have the light of the Holy Spirit, then that darkness will never overcome us. But it's our decision. Once again, God gives us a choice to choose to receive the light of Christ, to receive the Holy Spirit in our lives. And that's why we, we are doing this novena, to prepare ourselves to celebrate that moment when the Holy Spirit came down on the entire church and to lead us into the light than rather darkness. So today let us pray that even through our weaknesses, even through our sinfulness, we can always look to the light of the Holy Spirit to bring us out of that negativity, out of that sin, and into the presence of Jesus Christ. A prayer for the seven gifts of the Holy Spirit. Christ Jesus, before ascending into heaven, you promised to send the Holy Spirit to your apostles and disciples, Grant that the same Spirit may perfect in our lives the work of your grace and love. Grant us the spirit of wisdom, that we may aspire to the things that last forever. The spirit of understanding, to enlighten our minds with the light of your truth. The spirit of counsel, that we may choose a surest way of doing your will, seeking first the kingdom. The spirit of fortitude, that we may bear our cross with you and with courage overcome the obstacles that interfere with our salvation the spirit of knowledge, that we may know you and know ourselves and grow in holiness, the spirit of piety, that we may find peace and fulfillment in the service of God while serving others, the spirit of fear, that we may be filled with a loving reverence towards you. Teach us to be your faithful disciples and animate us in every way with your spirit. Amen. Father, in that daily perfect sacrifice prophesied by your servant Malachi, we profess that all honor and glory is yours, Almighty Father. In our pride, we have fallen from your grace. We are too weak to rise from our wretchedness, too blind even to be aware of our fallen state. By the power of your Spirit, glorify yourself and lead us to, your, to our destiny by bringing about in us that gratuitous recreation Offer to us through and in Jesus Christ, your Son. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Praise be Jesus Christ, now and forever. <laughs>